All right, guys, this one I'm absolutely stoked about. Uh, this is my new my new favorite, uh, uh, potential favorite, I should say, uh, shaving kit. I've done the Harry's before with you guys. Uh, you can buy from Target or subscribe from. Um, I've done Dollar Shave Club. I've never been a big fan of their razors, actually. Um, their products are very well, though. I do like their uh, shaving creams and all the after, after post-shave stuff. I just never really liked their razors and their handles. Um, Harry's was the best so far. I used to be a chic uh, five blade guide, so um, this one, I've always had a lot of neck problems, so I get a lot of razor bumps, and I thought, um, I did a lot of reviews on this, uh, read a lot of them, checked it out, and they said this is the by far the best thing that helps razor, blade, uh, razor burn, so we'll see if that's true or not. I got this, this is a pricey purchase. Uh, they sell these at Target for 98 bucks, I if I recall. Um, I did see it on their, uh, their app, it was 63 or 68 bucks. So I walked into Target where I had it. I couldn't get it shipped to me for some reason. So I went into Target and I said, hey, I need you as a price match your app price. And obviously they did no question and uh, picked this up. Now the one thing that I did, and I wanna show you, see if you guys know the answers to this. Bevel Shave System has a monthly subscription just like anything else, where they basically replenish you on the, the creams and the blades. The starter pack is the brush and the handle. Obviously, uh, you take the blades and you put them in here every, uh, I'm assuming they're kind of single use times, but I don't have a lot of, uh, I'm not a, a hairy person, so I won't need to go burn through them very often. But um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to, oh, I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Um, but the, what I was saying is there's actually a subscription program and then you can pay it in three different styles. I think you can pay it one time fee. It's like 200 bucks and they say it saves you 160. Uh, the second one's pay quarterly. I think it's like 60 bucks a quarter or you can pay monthly for 12 months and it's 30 bucks. Now when the third, with the very first one, you get the brush and the handle and everything. So I think you get this in your first subscription month. <coughs> and I, again, I apologize, I hate, having to cough in these videos but got to get them done for you guys so uh yeah so anyway we'll, we'll go through the unboxing of it real quick but uh yeah let me know if you guys uh, know anything about the subscription program and i uh, will flip it over here to the, the back obviously they call it talk about the bevel difference it prepares and calms lifts the hair locks and moistures uh, shaves at skin level and cools without uh without sting so you can see a multi-blade kind of hits that and maybe uh, create you know curls the uh, hair in there but the bevel, bevel safety razor must just do a nice clean shave where the multi-blade actually takes it below the skin level is what it looks like in the pictures. So, uh, yeah, let's get this baby opened up. I've been holding out. I've had this uh, since about Christmas time and been holding out to show you guys this. Um, but like I said, real real quick, we'll wrap up. The uh, the first time you buy that uh, subscription program, you get the, these. You get all of this, and then you pay on a monthly basis, and you just get the, uh, the blades and the, the three... Uh, lotions, liquids, whatever they may be. Um, I was thinking you might save some money because obviously if you could get this for 30 bucks and then you come around and uh, I don't know if you could end the subscription or not. I'm, I highly doubt it, but it looked like if you if you wanted to spend the 200 bucks and you go through these uh, lotions like crazy, the 200 bucks would be a steal versus the 98 bucks for this uh, every time. And and each one of these costs anywhere between, I think like 12.99 and uh, like fifteen ninety nine, something like that through a Target. So anyway, here we go. Extremely wonderful packing. Uh, if you're if you're a package nerd like I am, um, you'll love the way they present this as a heavy box. And obviously, look, boom, they they display their most uh, prized possession, and that would be the the handle itself. And it is solid. It's heavy, and you can see you can uh, you unscrew it right there. And I'm assuming you kind of uh, separate these two, drop in the uh, razor, and screw it back on. The handle is awesome. That is well balanced. You can tell a lot of design and research went into this one. So we'll kind of face it up here. They've got a nice little tab down here. Lift it up. Here we go. Uh, you could hear me flipping it around, kind of ruin a little bit of the presentation, but I'm assuming it looks something like this. So we'll go through that in a minute. Uh, we'll go. 
So they have a little bit of sticky on the back. Uh, try to keep it in place. <coughs> Here we have the shaving brush. Actually, yeah. Uh, make sure you like to use their tape. Now, I've never been a brush person. I've just never bought them. I, a lot of them are real, real fancy and pricey. I was really looking forward to this one. I thought this one would take the uh, the metal he heftiness of this one and make you put it in here, but they did not. This is a, it's, a, it's really light in comparison, uh, plasticky. Yeah, everywhere versus this. You can hear that's all metal. This one is a lot lighter, but brush is really nice, nice and soft. I'm not sure what kind of hair they use. I've set, read a lot use uh, like a beaver hair. Uh, Let's try to get the lighting a little bit better for you guys. <clears throat> uh, but like I said, this this comes. This is what you need to get going. And in the, in the subscription boxes, this is what would would constantly come up. And I think they have twenty. So this this usage place a fresh bevel blade between the two plated and the head of the bevel safety razor to prevent shaving irritation. Use a new blade every time or every other time you shave. So there you go. That's what they recommend. Uh, Shoot, I know I could go, I know I could go longer, that's for sure. And I'm trying not to just rip into it like a uh, savage with you guys, trying to be a little nice and professional with you, but I don't think they're going to allow me to do that on this one. And at a, again, the whole reason why I bought this was trying to, um, I don't shave outside of the shower. I think it's the the nice moisture, the heat from the, uh, the water, it kind of... Uh, you know, kind of loosens up the skin, opens up the uh, pores and the hair, stands them up a little bit better. Um, so that's my, that was always been my biggest problem is I can't shave out of the shower without having problems. Uh, that's where I get my worst razor, bu razor burns. So I bought this hoping that I can do it out, out of the shower and, and I always feel like I got to do it as the last thing I do in showers. Well, I can't just jump in a shower and start going, going, going to town on my face. So, um, you can tell they've got the old school packaging, um, Kind of like an old school razor. So, I'm, if you're like me, the biggest part of this video would probably be showing you how to do this because I was a little uneasy myself. But obviously, like the instruction said to put these right in between here. Let's place that. Actually, I think it was. Yeah, it goes the other way so that it matches up on the outside. I really enjoy this handle. It is nice. And you can see that the, uh, obviously the razors comes out here. So I'm assuming it would protect against, uh, man, I, you're going to get a close shave. That's for dang sure. But could you cut yourself? That's my biggest question. And, uh, if I don't do an actual shave video with you guys, I don't know if that's weird or not. Um, I'll at least come back and, you know, maybe add to this video or, or um, Kind of do a supplement on it, showing you guys. Uh, I, I'm a little worried about the. <coughs> Sorry, guys, again. I'm a little worried about the um, the cutting ability. Uh, I've just never used a straight razor like that. So, and I know it's not officially a straight razor, but I've never used a razor like that. So, I'm a little worried. I'll let you guys know though. But you can see how many razors. I think it comes with 20 razors. So, um, I could see where you would maybe want the subscription package if you were an avid, avid shaver, you know, everyday uh, kind of guy. Uh, but anyway, we've got the Bevel uh, Shave Cream here. Again, absolutely wonderful packaging and other stuff. Obviously, uh, it's protected here. Again, the whole purpose of this video is showing you guys a little bit of, a little bit of the product. Obviously, that's what I want to see in people's uh, videos. So white, uh, if you've ever used Dollar Shave Club, uh, man, it smells good too. Most do, really. I mean, it's not a big surprise that it does smell good, but um, Dollar Shave Clubs, the one thing I always liked about their product is that their shave cream, I, it may have been actually a gel, it was clear. So obviously they, they like to say, oh, so you can actually uh, see what you're doing. Obviously you move, move this into the skin. Uh, I think you'd be able to see exactly what you're doing. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's not like a big Barbasol where you can't see what you're doing. Um, and you're just shaving and, and uh, you have a, 
a shave shaver full of shaving cream. So I think that man, that smells good. I wish I could tell. I don't. I don't really know what it smells like. I don't know if there's a flavor, but um, you know, if you guys want to pause that and read that, you guys could uh, obviously pause it on the back as well. If you guys want to see what it's made out of, what you actually used. So they say use a nickel sized amount. And you could read the ingredients there if you wanted to. But yeah, it definitely has an aloe kind of, uh, not essential oil, but definitely some uh, some good smells on it. That's, that's, that's nice. Now we'll go over to, and like I said, you'd be able to actually see what you're doing. And, and I feel a little, there, there's some friction going on there, but that's just because it's dried. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing, seeing what you want to do while you're shaving. So I think that that's going to work out really nicely. Now we're coming over to the restoring bomb, and I'll get that zooming in so you guys could read that if you wanted to. Kind of flip it over to the back. You could uh, check out the ingredients, actually the uh, directions. Stop your shaving again. Use a nickel-sized amount for the restoring balm onto all shaved areas. On the days you do not shave, use nightly for maintenance and restoration. I mean, they're really pumping these uh, products, but uh, again, clear. Not as good as the smell, but definitely good. All right. And our last thing in this is the priming oil. So obviously uh, I have been using some of the, there's another Target brand, uh, it's like a German name, the orange uh, label one. I've used their uh, oils before and it helps glide better. So I, I, I like that. But obviously this one says softens the hair and uh, calms the skin with lavender, oil and castor oils for smooth and easy razor glides while preventing tugging, nicks, and irritation. You can read what's in there again and the uh, directions. So they say vigorously massage, nickel size. So again, nickel size in everything you do. And I'm assuming if you were a daily shaver, uh, the monthly subscription would be a, a very good investment for you rather than uh, purchasing every time through Target or, or even Again, I would try to do the lump sum. Not much of a smell to that one. Obviously, it's just an oil. It's going to help you uh, glide while you shave. But, uh, yeah, that's the that's the packaging. Uh, if you're like me, again, like I said, I love the packaging. That's what actually caught my eye in Target the first time. And uh, I I didn't buy it. I did a little research on it. Uh, I thought it was quite pricey. You know, I spent 100 almost 100 bucks on a shave kit that's a little ridiculous when you can buy the harry's shave kit for 9.99 uh, we'll go through this real quick i know we're uh, getting up there on time for you guys your guide to a good look so obviously basically just a, a nice little pocket guide on probably uh, what, what to do so again i'm gonna burn through this really quickly so if you guys want to read this stuff you can pause the uh the video uh, obviously, they say always a 30 degree technique. That's probably the most important thing that you could read out of that one. Uh, it tells you how to shave. You know, obviously, don't go against the grain. Um, if you want those nice uh, close shaves, sometimes you got to do that though. How to install a blade. And then take a hot shower before you shave to open up the pores. Obviously, that's my problem. <coughs> Man, I hope you guys don't hate this video for all the coughing, but I got to get some videos done for you. Uh, obviously prime, then you lather, then you shave, when you're done, rinse. When you're, when you're done, rinse the bevel shaver in hot water and set it aside to dry. Obviously, you prevent any rusting if you're going to reuse it. And then you restore. So, nice little booklet, a how-to guide on it. Um, if you guys got any questions, let me know down below. Uh, hopefully I showed you guys, uh, the unboxing was the coolest part for me. Um. But yeah, that's uh, that's the new uh, bevel shave system kit that uh, that comes at Target. Like I said, uh, uh, let me know if you guys got any questions. Hope you guys like the video. As always, please feel free to subscribe. That's what I need the most. Uh, but like and comment. Uh, I definitely respond to anything that I get from you guys. And um, that, that's the biggest problem. Uh, getting a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours from you guys. That's what's. Uh, bogging down this YouTube process and what's the, the new hard requirements to get on YouTube. So we're seeing that this is worth it. And uh, that's why I do a video a day for a year showing you guys the, 
the YouTube process along the way, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I do that so I can pump enough content out there for you guys. But hope you guys like this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys.